what's up you guys welcome to my channel my name is danny marie and today's video is going to be a what my toddler eats in a day video so for those of you guys who don't know i have a toddler named carter and he is 15 months currently and in this video i will be showing you guys what he eats for breakfast lunch dinner and what he eats for snacks so typically he goes to daycare on the weekdays so this is more so what he eats on the weekends when i have more time with him so make sure you guys stay tuned typically carter wakes up a lot earlier on the weekdays but since it's the weekend he slept in a little later but every morning he gets a six to eight ounce bottle of whole milk so that's what i'm giving him right now and i give it to him while he's watching tv so lately he's been loving toddler learning with miss rachel and I usually let him watch that while I start on breakfast. So for breakfast this morning, I am cutting up some blueberries and strawberries. So Carter is actually not a huge fan of blueberries, but he does really like strawberries. So my thought was if I mix them up together, then maybe he will eat the blueberries. So that's what I am attempting right now. And we'll see if he likes it. <laughs> So these are some leftover egg breakfast muffins, which are so good. We actually made these yesterday, but Derek saw these on Instagram or TikTok and he was like, we have to try them. So they are perfect for making these on like the Sunday before the rest of the week. If you want to have breakfast leftover for the rest of the week and something quick and easy to go, you can easily make these and store them in the refrigerator. Or if you want to keep them longer, you can put them in the freezer and i made them with bacon but you don't have to make them with bacon you can make them with sausage or none at all but yeah they're so easy and perfect and they only take about 20 minutes in total to make so this was super easy and since they're already made they make today 10 times easier because i can just pop it in the air fryer and get to making the rest of his breakfast I decided to add overnight oats to his breakfast as well. I like for him to be able to have options, especially since I'm trying something new with the muffin. And I'm being sure to cut up the muffin with kitchen shears into smaller pieces because if you leave it to Carter, he will stuff the whole thing in his mouth and choke. And we don't want him to choke. And he didn't finish his bottle of milk, so I'm just adding it to his sippy cup so that he can drink the rest of it with his meal. Alright guys, breakfast update. So he actually did considerably well for the amount of food that was on his plate. He liked the egg muffins more than I thought he would with the exception of giving a couple of pieces to our dog Ace. But other than that, um, he actually did pretty well. Now with the overnight oats, I think they were a little too chunky for him. He likes them a little bit more loose and he actually did pretty good with the blueberries. So it was a good idea to mix it with something that he liked. So I'm happy about that. All right, guys. So I am packing Carter's snack because we are about to head to the park. So when it comes to snacks, I like to make sure I have snacks that are easy to take on the go because Carter is an on the go boy. He likes to run around and do all the boy things that he likes to do. But I love taking these Stonyfield Yo Baby yogurts because Carter loves yogurt and they already come in the pouch. And even if he doesn't finish it, I could save it because it has that screw on top that I can put back on and store in the refrigerator if he doesn't finish it 
and he also loves these organic chickpea puffs they're vegan they're plant-based they're organic they are gluten-free all that good stuff plus they are a great substitute for cheese puffs because they actually taste good we always have to have these stocked in our house carter loves these I told you guys, Carter is a busy boy. He ended up scraping his arm while at the park, but when we got home, I made sure to treat it and clean it up. Now we are winding down for our nap, so Carter gets a second bottle before he goes down for his nap. So for lunch, we're doing peanut butter and grape jelly Uncrustables. Carter has been loving Uncrustables lately. So when we are out of Uncrustables, I make my own Uncrustable. So I got these sandwich cutters from Amazon and they come in all different sizes and shapes, but I decided to use the square shape. The only bad thing about doing your own Uncrustable is that you waste so much bread. So if you can find something else to do with the bread, then you are golden. But the good thing about making your own Uncrustable is that you can customize them how you want. So you can use the type of bread that you want. You can do turkey and cheese. You can do ham and cheese. You can customize it however you like. So that's what I like about this. But since Carter has been loving peanut butter and jelly, we are doing peanut butter and jelly. After putting them on the plate, I decided to cut up some apples as well as add a half a banana with it and some Nilla wafers. After a while of being in the high chair, Carter started to get a little fussy and this is how he really gets. So I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know if you guys' toddlers do the same thing, but I've even seen him try to stand up in the high chair and get out of it. So I try to kind of hover around the high chair and make sure he's okay and not trying to get out of it because I'm terrified of him falling out of it. lunch update so this is all that he ate for lunch he ate all those cookies though <laughs> i'm noticing now i should have waited to give him the cookies after he ate lunch but it's okay we live and we learn so for snack we're having hummus and honey wheat ritz crackers so i'm making a bowl that's enough for me and carter i find that he eats so much more when i eat with him he's at that age where he likes to eat what we're eating and i'm also making us a shareable sized uh, smoothie as well and i'm just gonna go ahead and add in the leftover fruit pieces that he left over from his lunch as well and then some oat milk and i'm gonna add some chia seeds as well
right guys so it is time for dinner so i'm making carter some salmon pesto bites and i got this salmon from walmart and it already came with the pesto butter that i'm putting on the salmon right now but i also added some more pesto that we had from our fridge and then i cut up a potato to make some potato wedges and then we had frozen broccoli in our freezer so i put some broccoli there as well added some olive oil a little bit of seasoning and voila All right, guys, dinner update. So this is what he ate after knocking his plate over and playing with his food and doing the absolute most. <laughs> and that is his last bottle of the night. All right, guys, that is it for my what my toddler eats in a day video. If you guys like videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And until next time, guys, bye.